Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts on Kyle Gott's recent video, I Shouldn't Have Gotten Out. Now, if you guys haven't watched that video yet, I'll be linking to it in the description down below as well as pinned in the comments, so be sure to check it out and uh, send Kyle some love. Just to give you a quick uh, synopsis of the video, Kyle basically goes over an email he received back in 2017, uh, the majority of the video was actually shot back in 2017 when Kyle was active duty in the Air Force. And he basically goes over a series of emails that he received from a retired staff sergeant in the Air Force. At first, praising Kyle for his uh, willingness to share information about the Air Force and encouraging, you know, prospective airmen to join and stuff like that and saying, you know, he could one day be the senior leader in the, uh, in the Air Force. And then Kyle responds and says, you know, that's very nice of you to say, but I'm actually gonna be getting out at the end of my enlistment and you know I've already started a business I'm gonna be traveling the world with my wife and doing this that and the other and then all of a sudden this dude like goes off on him saying how Kyle's like the worst thing about the Air Force and how he should like get out and shut up forever about the Air Force and all this other stuff I can't do it justice you'll have to watch the video to to see it all because it just it unfolds in a in a really crazy like down the rabbit hole sort of way so be sure to check out Kyle's video to get my quick thoughts on uh, Kyle's reaction to it. I think Kyle handled it extremely well. He was very professional in his approach and uh, I probably would have handled it the same way had I received a similar email about you know my Navy vids. Back when I was doing NFAX, which was kind of the the height of my Navy video releasing time, um, I was pretty much the only one on YouTube doing Navy videos on a consistent basis. I know it's kind of funny to think about but uh, I was the only one doing it on a consistent basis back then and I'd get a lot of emails and stuff like that about answering like different Navy questions, you know, like what what's boot camp like, um, how fat do you have to be in order to join still and all this other stuff. I would always say, um, not necessarily in my Navy vids, but in my vlogs and stuff that, you know, I do appreciate my time in the military, but you know, once my initial enlistment's up, I don't have any plans to re-enlist or anything like that. I just want to do my time get out and go back to school. And that was my plan from from day one, from the very get. You know, even watch like my old videos of, you know, should I join the Navy and stuff like that? Like my old, old videos from like 2009, 2010. You know, even then I say, you know, I, I wanna join the military. I just wanna do my initial enlistment, get it done, get out, go back to college. Cause that was, that was my whole plan all along. You know, it's funny, I look back and you know, some people criticize me and say, you know, I was just kind of half-assing it and, uh, you know, I quit the military, stuff like that. But to me, I was successful, you know, because I did what I wanted to do while I was in the military. I got out, uh, it happened to be like a year earlier, but I got out, went back to college, and that was the ultimate goal for me. Now, granted, things at college didn't quite work out for me because I did have uh, some personal issues happened to me, which I've talked about in other sadder, more depressing vlogs uh, when I got out. But, uh, you know, things are changing, man. And uh, do I regret getting out of the Navy? No. I think, you know, the Navy was a great time in my life. Uh, there was a lot of downs. Don't get me wrong. There was a lot of really grinding, depressing periods that will probably affect me for the rest of my life, you know? Like right now, I'm happy and things are going good and I'm, you know, making a big comeback and turning things around, but that could change out of nowhere. And I just have to be set up to uh, prepare myself. You know, the Navy was definitely a very important time in my life. It was uh, a really long five years of my life. And, you know, I've gotten to see different cultures, different countries, all kinds of different walks of life, even just within my own division, within my own ship, you know, there's a whole different world out there and I got to experience that. And I'm very grateful and appreciative for getting to experience those things during my time in. And I'm also extremely grateful for being able to take advantage of things like the GI Bill when I got out as well, because, you know, without it, I wouldn't be given the opportunity to come back to Japan later this year. Like, there's no way I'd be able to afford uh, not only flying to Japan, not only having the money for living expenses in Japan, but being able to just afford school in general. That, that would not be a possibility for me. So I am very thankful of my time in the service, but 
at the same time, I never had any intention of re-enlisting. And the further I went in, in my military career, that just became a lot more solidified because of just the way things were done. And also, more importantly, my own relationship with the Navy. I felt like I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I just felt like ultimately, at the end of the day, the military wasn't for me, you know, long term. You know, I am thankful and glad that I joined, but, you know, beyond my initial enlistment, I didn't see a future for me. And that's the case with a lot of people that join the military. It doesn't matter what branch, but roughly around, I think it was like 70 to 80% of people who join don't make it past their initial enlistment. So, you know, a lot of people think that we're the weird ones because we want to get out and go to college and get a job or something like that and make something of ourselves on the outside. But in reality, we're the far majority of people who join the military. It's very... It's very uncommon for people to re-enlist and, you know, even going on to retirement. You know, it's not as common as people might think it is. But, you know, for me, at the end of the day, if you want to join the military, I think that's great. I'm not going to discourage you from doing that. Um, I hope that my videos have played some part in your decision whether or not to join the military. And if you guys have any questions or something like about that, uh, about the Navy, you know, I'd be more than happy to... To answer those questions as a now veteran going on four years out, you know, I feel like I can give you guys a good perspective on what the military is like. I want to help you out as best I can. So, uh, yeah, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Son uh, for now here at uh, Andy Talks Navy HQ. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.